Well, it turns out Princess Di was a big fan of Supertramp. We talked to John Halliwell all about that. Now, interestingly enough, the last thing that the King of England said to me when he was Prince Charles in 1986, we did a Royal Variety perform. Uh, no, we did a Prince's Trust performance at the Royal Albert Hall. And um, Prince Charles and Princess Diana came to the gig and we met them. We, you know, we were in a line and all this when we met them. And I, I, first of all, I met her. And, and then Charles came along and he sort of said something like, and what do you do? You know, that, that sort of thing. <laughs> I said, oh, well, I play for saxophone and keyboards, do background singing, and, um, and I do the announcements. And he said, ah, I said, good. Well, I hope you're going to be funny. And <laughs> went along to the next one, next person. So that's the last thing that the king said to me. Wow, so you met Princess Di, huh? Yeah. She yeah. said she was a bit nervous, interestingly enough. Because she asked me how I was or something, and I, I said, yeah, I'm a little nervous meeting you. And she said, I'm, I'm nervous too, you know, tonight for some reason. She was a big Soup Trump fan, apparently, Princess Diane. We were one of her favourite groups. So this is before the show, right? This is... This was before the show, yeah. This is in 86. What was yeah. the, uh, one of the questions uh, we got last night was, and it's big, it's a loaded question, but what, what are you most proud of? I mean, can you just pick a few things, or, or what are you most proud of? Well, if, you, if in, general, I'm, in general, I'm most proud of, of the Ever Open Door album, because that's something which I, is a culmination of you know many years of playing. Mm. Now, if you could ask about um, Supertramp stuff, I'm most proud of, you know, it's been super career and I'm very proud of, of, most, thing, of most things that we've, that we've done. And, and it, in particular, things that stand out are, would, would possibly be, you're thinking about my solos or something. That, there's a solo in the Logical Song, which seems to be grab people's attention. I quite like uh, My Kind of Lady. That's, that's a good one. And then there's, there's always Crime of the Century. Interestingly enough, uh, almost 90, 95%, 99% of the solos that you hear on a Supertramp album are, are completely improvised, with the one exception. And that's a solo from Crime of the Century. And there's a story there, is that we we went into the studio and we recorded crime, that crime of the century. And at the end, there's the, the big build up, and then there's a big sweeping saxophone solo. And I did I did one, and it was it was great. It was really good. And then subsequently, we sent the the backing tracks without the solo to a string arranger, Richard Hewson, and he put strings on. He put strings on one or two of the tracks. So he put a big string build-up on Crime of the Century. And we thought it was great. And, and then we, we played it back. And then we turned up the saxophone solo. It didn't, go, it didn't go with it at all. So Rick and I sort of constructed a solo to go with the, the group playing plus the strings. So we kind of had to sit down and... And, and think about it. think about it and try and try and work out something which was not completely off the cuff but suited what was there and I, I think we did a good job in the end don't ever leave me is the brand new album from john Halliwell, formerly of super tramp i still don't say formally because i can't accept the fact that the band broke up in 2015 but you just just never know i'm always holding on to hope a one-off show more from John Halliwell in the next two, three days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.